anyone is not good at math is something that many people grow up with, that people either had a math brain or they didn't have a math brain. And I think that if you really look at the brain research that you really see that that's not true at all. Our brain is not, does not have a, a limited capacity and that it has the ability to um, expand or stretch. And knowing that is the big deal of the day. You have to have a growth mindset. Hard work is more important than talent. Your education at Kent Place puts girls in the position of leadership. So in a math classroom, what that looks like is the teacher isn't leading them to a particular place, but the teacher's encouraging the girls to take the lead. I've never heard of any other school with a math research course where students can do post-calculus work in other areas of college mathematics with their teacher and their other classmates. When you've noticed something for yourself, the story is different. You feel like the math is coming from me. So the girls here feel that math comes from them rather than coming from a textbook. They don't ask as often as I've seen in public schools, what do they want here? or What answer are they looking for? They're looking for their own answers and they're on their own journey. What we're looking at for our program over the next five years is to communicate to our students through the activities that they do how diverse math actually is. That procedures are part of math, but so is conceptual understanding and so is problem solving. The best math classrooms and how math is learned are ones where the class ends with a new question. Because of what we did in the class, the students are more curious about something. That's what drives the girls at Kent Place both to take these upper level math classes that they do and to then go and pursue math after they're at Kent Place uh, because they're, the answer wasn't the end.